Good morning. Welcome again to the Bethany Associate Reformed Presbyterian Church as we come together for our Tuesday morning devotion time. Now, as we go back to Charles Spurgeon's morning reading, uh, today we're going to be looking at his thoughts on Psalm 89, 19. So as we go about doing this work, let us go to our God in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, today is a wonderful day. Regardless of the dark providences that may be on our horizon, we see because your light shines through the darkness. Your light gives us the understanding and the knowledge of what is before us, for all things are in your hands. And dear God, as we spend time hearing from our brother this morning, dear God, we know these words have helped many. And dear God, we give thanks for the faithfulness of those who have gone before, that we not only might not be alone, but that we might know that we are held by such a rich cloud of witnesses who know Christ and help us to better know our Savior. Be with us this day. Keep us in your strength, both this day and forevermore. And in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, this morning we turn in our devotion to Psalm 89, 19. I have exalted one chosen from the people. Why was Christ chosen out of the people? Speak, my heart, for heart thoughts are best. Was it not that he might be able to be our brother? In the best tie of kindred blood? Oh, what relationship there is between Christ and the believer. The believer can say, I have a brother in heaven. I may be poor. I may be in pain. But I have a brother who is rich and is a king. And he allows me to be in his presence while he is on his throne. For he loves me, not only as his brother, but he loves me as himself. Believer, wear this blessed thought like a necklace of diamonds around the neck of your memory. Put it as a golden ring on the finger of recollection and use it as your own seal, stamping the petitions of your faith with confidence of success. He is a brother born for adversity. Treat him as such. And who is this brother, dear Christian? For it is our great and glorious older brother, Jesus the Christ. For he has granted unto us not only the privilege of his house, but he has promised us eternal blessings in his work. Christ was chosen out of all the people, that he might know our wants and sympathize with us for Christ being our brother, loves us like a brother. He knows our trials. He knows our troubles. And, who, and he has been in every respect tempted as we are, yet without sin. In all our sorrows, we have his sympathy, temptation, pain, disappointment, weakness, weariness, poverty. He knows them all, for he has felt all. Remember this, Christian, and let it comfort you. However difficult and painful your road, it is marked by the footsteps of your Savior. And even when you reach the dark valley of the shadow of death and the deep waters of the swelling Jordan, you will find his footprints there. Wherever we go, in every place, he has been our forerunner. Each burden we have to carry has once been laid on the shoulders of Emmanuel. His way was much rougher and darker than ours. Did Christ my Lord suffer, and shall I complain? Take courage. 
Royal feet have left a blood-red track upon the road and consecrated the thorny path forever. You know, in these words that we have heard from our brother Charles Spurgeon this morning, we are reminded of one of the great blessings of the Christian life, that we have a Jesus, we have a Christ who knows what it means to weep. We have a Christ who knows what it means to have difficult things on his heart, to have the weight of the world on his shoulders. And one of the things that we can learn from Christ is that we have access to the same grace that he did. Christ, as he heard the word read on the Sabbath day, was comforted. When he was brought low by the sin of those around him, he forgave them for they knew not what they do. When he was being beaten, reviled, mocked, and as he cried out to his heavenly Father, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In those moments, he could look back and see those who had gone before him, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Moses, and Aaron, sinners though they were. They could point Christ himself to the Father, to the eternal promises of the heavens themselves. For brothers and sisters, this is our hope. We hope not as those who grasp in the darkness, but those who see the light. For Christ shines in the darkness, and he shines forever, bringing us along that straight and narrow path that leads to eternal life. So whatever it is that you might have before you today, remember Christ. He is present for you. He is always at your side. And even better than that, he dwells within you by virtue of faith. Rest in him. Place your burdens on him. For his yoke is easy and light. That is the glory of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He is our brother who has borne our griefs, borne our sorrows upon himself. Take comfort in him. Have a blessed day and God bless.